Hello guys, good morning. I'm so happy you are here. I'm Rinske Dauna and today is gonna be special, very special for me also. I'm gonna do again the do's and don't challenge with Sarah Mack. Sarah Mack is an amazing fluid artist. I would definitely recommend you to check her out. So the last time we did this challenge, I ended up making this piece a 30 by 90 centimeters with purple, copper and gray. She was very easy on me that time because I could do a Dutch pour. But this time she gave me, yeah, a bit more difficult do's and don'ts. So let me sum them up for you. My do's are, do use an open cup pour. Here we go already, you know, I've never done an open cup pour. Gonna be fun. Make a triptych. So it's not that I can just ease into it, right? <laughs> With just one canvas. No, just make three. Okay, Sarah, gonna do that. Use magenta. And then for the don'ts, don't use your blow dryer. Don't use more than four colors and don't mix your paint only with water. I'm gonna do that today. And because we love this challenge so much, we're gonna challenge another artist or artists after this video and call them out to do the do's and don'ts as well. And we hope this will spread around the fluid art community. So stay tuned. I will call out another artist after this video. But now let's get started with my own do's and don'ts here. All right, Sarah, this is going to be try number one. I've never had my paint this thick, really. I mixed it with one part paint, two part Floatrol and I think a half part of water. It's so thick, I can't imagine this going right. But I'm not used to that. So I need to create a triptych with magenta. I got it here and no more than four colors. But the base color doesn't count, or at least Sarah said that. I will be starting with one canvas first because I have no clue how this will work out. And if this works out, I can work on the other two, of course. So let's start with try number one. But yeah, I thought let's make the thickest consistency right now. I can always thin it out later, you know? So yeah, okay. Here I go with the Russian blue. And here I pour some white. And I think I will spread that out with this tool. open cup technique. So I'll pour here some more of the white, by the way. And here's some more of the Prussian blue. So the open cup does have some, yeah, more room to, I don't know, more room to what? More room to what? So open cup here. Uh, let's start with uh, magenta to pour in there. Uh, let's go with uh, violet, gold, you see how thick guys, oh. pour a little bit of white in there. Then again with some magenta. Oh, it's running to the wrong side. Okay, let's go already a bit like this. It's already looking cool there. And I can't use the blow dryer, 
so I won't, of course. Let's move it a bit. It does look cool. This part looks very cool. Let's just continue here. I don't know if I even have enough for a triptych. Using so much paint. This part is beautiful. Okay, so what I will be doing now is I will tilt this a little because this part is not how I like it. So just very gentle. Back a little, maybe a bit up. It does look cool. But this here, uh, maybe I can swipe that a bit. So it's more aligned. Maybe there's too much negative space there, but yeah, pretty happy so far, really. You know, I think I will continue with the other two as well. Yes, okay, so I will leave this be for now and yeah, prep my other two canvases and work on those. And then I can see if I can tweak some more on this one or the other ones. Yeah, okay, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Still looks so good, right? Very happy with this challenge. Last challenge was also awesome. You can check it out if you want to, by the way, here. Um, yeah, let me do first quick the basis of those and start doing the open cup. All right, so the bases on are on and I will do the same. I will pour here some a uh, bit more of the white and then here too. I will start with the middle one, by the way, just one by one. It's uh, new for me. So <laughs> let's just take it. Yeah, easy. Okay, I will use the same cup. I'll start a bit more here. Um, yeah, I was thinking to align this, but yeah, let's just start somewhere. So the magenta, violet. Some white. It's starting to run already a bit. Violet. Maybe the Russian blue. And let's start moving this. This is looking very different than that one. But you know, maybe if I tilt it, it will create more of the gold cells again. 
because that's stunning here, right? You know what? I will let that be for now. Let's see if uh, the cells will come up and otherwise I will torch it. I will just continue with this one here. This is so much fun <laughs> doing something else. Oh, there this one goes. This is good for now. Um, yeah, I will torch it and then start tilting them again. <laughs> this is definitely a galaxy, by the way. I'm loving it. So cool. Okay, I will put this one a bit to the left. So I'll have enough room to tilt. I think this is gonna be a very long video, by the way. You're probably not used that, to that on my channel, but uh, yeah, it's something different. Uh, yeah, I like that. I like the bottom part here a lot. This is making me so happy. Doing something new and it's, it's, it's working out. It's working out. Maybe it's fun if I uh, turn this the other way. Let me see how that looks in combination with this one. Yeah, then it lines up even. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. Okay, cool. We'll be all right. <gasps> oh, I didn't look at this one yet. Look at all those cells. <gasps> this one is insane. Okay, I'm gonna tilt it as well. Oh, that's beautiful this I don't want to touch it too much um, but I'm disliking this white here guys what do you think yeah we're disliking that I'm 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 deciding we're disliking that um, I think I will swipe part there let's see how that will look I'm so excited this is so much fun Thank you, Sarah. Okay. Oh, that works out great with this thickness. Yeah, guys, I'm, I'm gonna leave it like this. Uh, this is so, so cool. Turned out so much better than I imagined. Uh, I think as well, this one will line up perfectly here, but this is, or it's, it's lining up. Those cells, that gold really makes this piece, huh? Okay, so I will do the sides and give you a close-up of this. Oh, wow. Look at this. Those cells. It's very minimal. This one is so cool. Check them out. How cool is this? 
<laughs> Sarah, please challenge me more or someone else. Yeah, and I will challenge as well uh, another artist or artists even. So stay tuned after the close up as well. But yay, 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 yay. I'm just too happy. <laughs> you guys must think I'm crazy here. So consistency was very thick, but that definitely works. I'm very curious how this will dry because I feel like it will shift a bit more. And I decided as well to leave the sides like this for now and repaint them um, when dry. Okay. Well, I will challenge some other artists right now. And guys, thank you so much for watching. Okay, so we're almost at the end of this video. I'm so happy with the results. This do's and don't challenge is amazing. But it's time for me to challenge another artist. I thought very long about this and I came to the conclusion I really want to challenge Messy Art Studios. Messy Art Studios is run by Jeremy and Lee. They're so fun, they have gorgeous works and I think they will do it all. So they're perfect for this challenge. So Jeremy and Lee, these are your do's and don'ts. Do use yellow, do make a double split base and do use a swipe tool. Then for your don'ts, don't use a blow dryer, don't use only existing colors. So you need to mix at least one your own. And for the third one, don't use a square canvas. I can't wait what you guys will make. I would love that you both wouldn't discuss with each other and make something separate. Well, yeah, separate. You can of course video it all in one time, but that you don't plan together, you know? So I'm very curious what you guys will make there. Can't wait to see it. And guys, thank you so much for watching. This is really now the end of this video and I'll see you next time.